Hello MCA students, this video will show you how to add functionality to the app you are creating. Before you start adding components and functions, you need to know exactly what you're trying to build. The design brief will help you do that, so make sure you fill that out first. Next, decide how you want to build your app. What does the first screen look like? How do you want to navigate through the app? And what parts are going to work and what parts are just going to be for looks? Once you have everything completely mapped out, you're ready to start programming. I'm going to show you how to make four functions in your app. So this part one video will have swiping screens and pressing a button to go to another screen. Part two video will have adding sounds and songs and creating a button that talks. So let's get started. The first one we're going to do is a swiping screens app. I got this idea from Josh. He is making a VeggieTales app that is going to make different skins um, for different characters. So for this one, I'm going to make Larry, and then I'm going to swipe to a different screen and make it look like Larry has a scarf on. So the first thing I need to do is I need to drag over the tab navigator, which is right over here. So I'm going to drag that over there. Then I'm going to drag another screen into the phone so that I have two screens. So I'm going to just drag it right over here with the visible components. Alright, so now I'm going to drag one of the screens into the tab navigator and see how it turns into a branch. That's how I know it's a part of that now. And then there's the other one. I want screen one first, so I'm just going to swap those. All right. So now I'm going to drag images into screen one and screen two. So I'm going to grab the image box from the components and put it in screen one. Oops, that didn't work. Come on. Okay, well I've got my blue line right Ugh. there. Where did it go? There we go. Oh, here's my other one. Ah. Okay. All right, so now I've got both of my images on each one of my screens, and they're both part of the tab navigator. So now I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click the name of the app on the upper left-hand corner, and I'm going to upload my images. I select Choose a File, and I'm going to find my images, and then I'm going to hit Control and select all the images I want and hit Open. So now I've got a library of images that I can pick from to put into my app. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the names of each of these images. So Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. I'm going to go to Image. I'm going to paste that under Picture. And look at how tiny he is. I need to make him bigger. So I'm going to select Pick One. And then I'm going to select Fill Container. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the width. There, that's exactly how I want Larry to look. So now I'm going to go back to here so I can get the name of the other picture. I'm going to go to Image 2. I'm going to paste the name of that image. And again, I need to size it to fill container. Alright, perfect. And then the last part I have to do is I need to hit Tab Navigator. And then all I need to do is enable this. So it says swipe enabled and I hit true. So that's it. Alright, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is make a button that goes to a different screen. So you're going to hit create new app. And I'm going to make this one off of Jordan's idea. He was going to do like a website where you could find new up and coming artists. So I'm going to say find new artists. All right, then I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to add some buttons. So I'm just going to add two buttons for this tutorial so you get the idea. But you can add as many buttons as you want. So I added two. I want my button one to be first, so I'm going to switch that. Oh. 
And now I'm going to edit how my buttons look. So I just clicked that over here that says button. And here's the text. I can put whatever I want. I'm going to put Lil Romeo because he was popular when I was a kid. Then I'm going to select true under font bold because I want it to be nice and big. I want it to be 20. And I want my background color to be red so it really pops. And then down here I can select the corner radius. So that means this part right here. And I did this earlier so I know that I like 18. Nice rounded corners. Then I'm going to go to button 2 and do the same thing. Only this one is going to be in sync. So the idea behind this is that it will bring you to another screen that tells you all about the artist. So it could tell you where the artist is playing, it could have a picture of the artist, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to make this button look exactly like the other button um, because I'm thinking about what my layout is going to look like. And I want it to look nice and neat. Here's another feature you might like. See down here where it says raised? You can select true and it gives your buttons a shadow. So if that's something that's important to you, you can do that. Next we have to add the functionality to these. So um, we need to go to click on a button and then go to blocks. And we need to pull out when button is clicked, do. And then we need to go to control and say navigate to screen. And I just realized I forgot something very important. We're not hoping to click this button and go to screen one because that is our our first screen. We need different screens to go to that are going to tell us about the artist. So go back to add component and pull over two more screens, one for each button. Screens, I must have passed it. Ah, uh, here it is. I'm going to bring them over here. I'm going to go back to editing button 1, blocks. Alright, now I'm going to select this drop down bar and change it to screen 2. So when I click button 1, then it will navigate to screen 2. Now I'm going to edit button 2. So I'm going to pull this out. When button 2 is clicked, do go to control, go to navigate to screen, and it's already selected screen 3 for me, and that's the screen that I wanted it to go to. So we're done with those two components. Watch the next video for the other tips.